my chance at the small man. The, the big man always wins. What we are doing to our natural resources. As long as there is the sea out there, there will always be a fishing industry. It was in the back of head the whole time. I can prove that the fish are still out there today. Out onto cliff edges. Look down on a clear day and see the fish, and it's like that good after. Back to sea. My first contact really with the sea is through my parents here in Dunmore East. Getting into boats, into punts. Irish people visit a village in Newfoundland, they'll say, my goodness, it feels just like home. There's a very strong Waterford aspect to the language. Cod was the lifeblood of Newfoundland. We could step on the water, and the sea was so full of cod, that we wouldn't sink. In my own experience, the closest th thing to jigging for cod is fishing for mackerel. And what a feeling it is to see your line come up and 12 mackerel gleaming, glistening, jumping out of the water as they come on board. Nobody in my family fished like my father was a technician in the post office. I had a brother who was a black guy. We used to go out angling with a, a lobster boat and no more. With me working on my own, I can go down in the morning, not waiting for anybody. Just get in the boat and go away on your own. You're your own boss, you know. I, I love the job. It's the life I, I find great. I can prove that the fish are still out there today. You can look down on a clear day and see the fish, and it's like that good out there. For 25,000 people, it has been a real tragedy. You don't know what to expect, every day is different, there's no day the same. You're out there and that's it, like no one else around you. You see something white coming up here in the net, you don't know what it is like. It's going to be overfished like the cat, I think. Swept. The ocean the bed ground. clean of spawn, well, reduction of stocks, future stocks, swept, sustainability, the ocean clean of all prices are bad, the fish stocks, catches are diminishing, sustainability. before the loss happens, you're 
live with the expectation of loss. Leaders glib with dollar signs burning where eyes should be. The first year we started, the, the, the general lease was lost. Globe and mail. Profit and loss. Deficit. The sea has always been a matter of life and death. It was the fisherman's graveyard. graveyard. He's in the back, I hear the whole thing. All my life was on sea. And then I could walk on my own. Every day is different, there's no day the same. You know what you have to do when you have to get through and then they're finished and after that, like, you know. They're just fishing, they're doing their job, they me blood sugar. Everybody knows each other, like, knows who's who, and, you know. You know, you're out there and you're making your own money, like, it's up yourself to make your own money, and that's what I like about it, like, and you win then you see, at the end of the week, you have a good week's wages, and you know, I bet you don't make that in the factory. <laughs> the whole sustainability of the fish stocks is a matter of the utmost importance. The fellows who are controlling the money is, they're in and half is doing nothing, and that's not fair on us. You know the big tank boats coming in. Boats have gone in for the deep sea. We're talking about conservation, but these boats are just soaking up everything. Soaking up everything. What chance of the small man? The big man always wins. You can't buy fish now. People just can't buy fish anymore. It's, it's gone through the air. And the fisherman's not getting the money. A lot of young people will be saying, well, is there a future in it? In dreams, mouthless women stretched out hands, For silver scales, 25,000 people, blamed. it has been a real tragedy. Salt cascaded white from their eyes. Well, they can't keep taking, not give back, like, you know. His value on the open market, salts, so many cents, and water left over. I think both here and in Newfoundland, we have to start asking the right questions. Let me fish up Cape St. Mary.